Some of you are 12 years old, 10 years old, then you are in university. How do you what you are going to do? Now, that has radically changed the concept of university education. You know, Jam is trying to stop us from getting it. They now put an age barrier. I know that they are too young. They are too young. Then they used to use hand. So that concept has changed. How do you define a university student? Somebody that enters the university. If you are saying somebody that enters the university, you feel already. How about this people this here? All these guys working here. Are they university students? And that's why I said you think. So that needs to be the better definition. Who is a university student? Anybody that drives in the university? You don't need to problem. Short drivers, are they university students? Um, exactly. So that is why you have to be precise and concise with definition. That is what I teach you in this course. I'm going to discipline your thoughts. You have to be able to explain precisely everything you say has meaning. Like they say in Yoruba, sorry, sorry you. And uh, that meaning, you know, there are two the same sorry, but they have different meaning. How you say it matters. Take, please. Take, take. <laughs> exactly. It's still the same thing. But that is the same thing with international relations. If I offended you, I'm sorry. If you feel I offended you, I'm sorry. A different from I'm sorry, genuinely sorry for what I did. I'm sorry, if you say I've offended you, I don't get sorry. It is the same with definition. With all this, that was why I used to say you cannot know what power is. Because it is different from what you are thinking. Power is not muscle. Power is not gun. It goes beyond that. Power is not all those to do and chance you we usually carry around. It goes beyond that. It is the same with the relation. So without understanding the relation, relation, that without understanding the meanings of what the relation is, and all those things you've listed, which are concepts, uh, then no, you are not yet a student in the Department of History and International Study. So quickly, before we go, you remember I say you don't define. What you do is you explain. It is the same thing when you want to go into a relationship now. You just don't go together and say, date me. You like me, you don't like me. <laughs> I know you play around, it's a nice weather, oh, nice hair, uh, nice fingers. You know, you play around, you play around, but you're in university, you're in Lagos State, oh, one of the best departments, you start international study, ah, nice. Ah, why do you have a dark fine boy lecture as the intro? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Remember, you're explaining. Others that are watching, you say, we know where he's going. <laughs> and that's of the preamble. It is the same with words and definition. So when we ask, what is a relation? And as they can be quite, no, no. You give us the preamble. The preamble will tell us you know what you are talking about. So the preamble will tell us you know what we are talking about. By the time you get to the conclusion on the seventh page, we know that, yes, this is a scholar. Sorry, seventh page is the minimum, actually. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. By the time you get to the tick of it, inspiration will come. You know, you just discover that you return into a new person, you are just writing, the ideas will just be flowing. And it's because you are not, you are, you are yet to be confronted. I say, let, let us put it this way. There's something about it that they call adrenaline. When you are not being confronted by any danger, you say you jump from here to here, never. And when there's anything that happens now, I mean, <laughs> exactly. So what is international relation? That's the first question we are going to grapple with. And I've left the introduction, so I'm quickly going to that one. But I know you have a program. Don't, don't worry, I'll rush to something. So what is international relation? Now, different scholars are written different things on what international relation is. We want to define it. But then before we define it, we have to let them know that we know what we are talking about. So that is why we have to talk about what others have said, which is a way of explanation, before we now get to our own definition of what international relation is. Can I continue? Yes. Now, the first man to write on that thing was Clifford Zimmer. Clifford Zimmer. Z-I-W-L-B-R-N. According to him, he said, international relation is a bundle of subject built from a specific angle. So, International relation is a bundle of subject built 
from a specific, and of course, we disagree with that definition. I told you now, definition is dynamic. When he gave that definition in the 1930s, that's 1935, fine, maybe that was what the meaning of international relations was. Let me explain again. Don't talk, just listen. He said, international relations is a bundle of subjects built from specific angle. And I said we we'll disagree with that definition. Why would we disagree with the definition? I said, the man said, international relations can only be studied in the university. That it has no real world application. That once you leave the university environment, then there is nothing called international relations. But we know that definition is wrong. So it's a bundle of subject view. So when you say bundle of subject, that means it can be philosophy, can be economics, can be biology, can be physics, can be English. So bundle of subjects coming together, viewed from a specific angle. And I said, we disagree with this definition of what international relation is. Please, can I continue? Yeah. According to Quincy Wright, Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T, Wright, Quincy Wright, W. Wright. According to Quincy Wright now, he said, international relation could only be set to a taking place when there is an exchange of power between states, or what it defines as power relationship between states. Exchange of power is between states. So, Quincy Wright said, international relation can only be defined, or will it be set to a taking place when there is an exchange of power between states, again, we disagree with that definition. Now listen, or rather, the man even said he went further, he said, internal relation can only take place among the powerful states within the international political system. So, internal relation can, can only be defined as a relationship that takes place among the powerful states within the international political system. But we disagree with that, you know why? What the man is saying is this, since Nigeria is very world power, Ghana is very world power, Togo is very world power, but there is no world power. Whatever takes place among them is not international relation. It can only be international relation if it involves America and Russia. Exactly, because those are superpower. Poor people are not students in Lashu. And when you are poor, that is not a car. A real Lashu student must have a car. That's that definition. Those that without cars that goes around with their legs, around with their legs, they are not last student. So if you go by that definition, you, you will be the one to object and say, no, that does not make sense now. How can you say it's only those with cars and actually last year? So, but that is exactly what this definition is trying to say. That international relation can only take place among powerful states within the international political system. So I said, we disagree. With that definition, can we continue? Yeah. Remember, I said definition is dynamic; it changes. But when they gave those definitions, they were right then. But events have overtaken them. So we are now still going forward to look for the better definition of what international relation is. Frederick Dom, Frederick Dom said, international relation could simply be said to be individual relationship that takes place across national brand boundaries. Individual relationship that takes place across national boundaries. Again, we disagree. Individual relationship yeah, that takes place across national boundaries. Nigeria no cricket seller. Going to Benin to buy a cricket. According to that definition, that is international relation. That's why I said we disagree. At the point in time, I lecture them at the, 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 when I lecture in some universities within the Federal Republic. I do go there a lot. What this man is saying is that an individual of one country going into another country, that to that person is what they call international relation. Again, I said we disagree. It's like saying everybody that enters into last must be a last student. Everybody that enters into last must be a last student. So you now ask that question, how about those people in the money market? Are they last students too? And that was why I said, we disagree with that uh, definition. Can I continue? Yeah. Trevor Taylor, Trevor Taylor, T-A-Y-M-O-R. Trevor Taylor says, it's the totality of political relationship that takes place amongst it within the international political system totality of political relationship that takes place amongst states within the international political system. 
totality of that political relationship, that is what we call international relations, totality of the political relationship that takes place among states within the international political system. Now, again, we disagree because that definition is restricted. So, totality, political relationship. So the question you now ask is, how about economic relationship? How about social relationship? How about religious relationship? How about cultural relationship? And you can't just say it's just political. Last students are only those ones that are writing in class. Those that are recording are not students. Those that are sitting down are the only students. Those that are standing there are not students. Uh, exactly, that is how selected that definition is. <laughs> so this definition is not saying same thing. So, internal relation is totality of the two relationships that takes place. Just politics, not economic. Uh, presently, Akon is going on. This football thing, that stuff is going on presently. Are, are you aware? Yes. That based on this man's definition, that is not internal relation. Uh, but this is a, a game that brought together different states from within the continent. So you now ask yourself the question, if that is not international relation, then what is international relation? So quickly, the final one, Stanley Hoffman. Stanley Hoffman, H-O-F-F-M-A-N. According to him, which is the better definition, he said, international relation is the totality, the totality of all the activities and policies totality of all the activities and when I say totality of all the activities and policies of states that encompasses political, economic, social, military, all, all, all that takes place among states within the international political system. So international relations, well rounded, totality, it encompasses all relationship, all activities, policies that takes place among states within the international political system. That's economic, political, social, religious, all. Nigeria supplies electricity to Benin, to Togo, to Ghana. And as aspect of economic international relations, it's international relations. Nigeria is playing football with one country in Afcon, presently, with other countries. And there are still international relations. Nigeria has won in the Niger Republic. For them to reinstate their president when there was a good guitar. That is still also international relations. And totality, stop talking. Totality of all relationship that takes place amongst it within the international political system is what we now call international relations. It is not just individuals, it is not just political, it is not just based on power. No, as a the totality of all those set relationships that you can now define as that thing called the international relation. So international relation is what is going on presently between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Presently, yes, what is going on presently between the Palestinians and the Israelis is an aspect of international relation. Nigeria running to IMF to borrow money is aspect of international relation. America trying to police the war is an aspect of international relation. So it goes beyond military, it goes beyond political, it goes beyond economics. No, it's the totality of all of them together that we can now call that thing that are known as international relations. So have a